Here I'm going to go through the three steps you can use to solve a system of equations that's in a similar format as this. If you notice, the x's, one has a 3 as a coefficient, the other has a negative 3. So the coefficients are the same, but opposite signs. If that's the case for your problem, then you can go through these steps. So the first step is to add the equations to eliminate one of the variables. And then we're going to solve for the remaining variable. So when you're adding the equations, you're looking at the columns. So if I add these x's together, notice that they cancel. If I add the y's together, positive 2y's minus 4y's is negative 2y's. You're adding the coefficients, making sure you're paying attention to whether it's positive or negative. And if I add these constants together, it's negative 14. Once you add them and eliminate a variable, now you have an equation you can solve because there's just one variable left. If I wanted to solve for y, I'm going to undo the multiplying by negative 2 by dividing by negative 2. And I see that y equals 7. So this is the first part of my answer. Now I need to know what is x when y is 7. And to find out, I can substitute what that variable is, x is 7, into either one of the original equations. So it doesn't matter if I pick this one or this one. You would get the same answer. So if one looks better than the other, pick that. So I'm going to pick the first one, 3x plus 2y is negative 13. But instead of multiplying by y, y is 7. So I'm going to substitute in 7. And now I solve this equation. So the first step is to just simplify. 2 times 7 is 14. And now I have a two-step equation where I can undo the adding and subtracting first and then undo the multiplying. And I see that x is negative 9. So I found out that x is negative 9 and y is 7. And you can write it like a coordinate like this.